Tonight, there is a growing number of calls for the city state's attorney to investigate other police custody deaths. WJZ is live. Derek Valcourt explains the push to reopen some of these cases. Derek? Well, the city state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, really impressed many people with how she handled uh, the Freddie Gray case. Now she's being asked by some families to re-examine other in-custody deaths that in which the cases in which her predecessor declined to pursue any charges against police. The death of Tyrone West while being arrested in North Baltimore in 2013 led to city hall hearings and a decision by then city state's attorney Greg Bernstein not to charge any officers with wrongdoing, saying their use of force was justified. That outraged his family. Ten officers or one unarmed man equals murder. West's heartbroken family has now filed a federal lawsuit, but they haven't stopped demanding justice for Tyrone. Well, now they're getting some I'm support great. from city councilman Warren Branch, who's calling on new city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby to re-examine in the case after she announced charges against all six officers involved in the high profile in custody death of Freddie Gray. We might still get the same results that Greg Bernstein got, but just having a fresh pair of eyes take a look at it. Nothing. Branch says Mosby should also re-examine two other in-custody deaths, including the death of Anthony Anderson. Those families and their attorneys aren't comfortable with how former city state's attorney Bernstein handled their cases. Basically, Mr. Bernstein just took the word of the police department. Dwight Pettit represents Tyrone West's family. He's confident Mosby's review of the case would have different results for the officers. I think that anybody reasonably looking at those facts would have to, would have to conclude that a crime was being committed and has been committed. We reached out to Mosby's office for comment, but so far our calls have not been returned. We're live. Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness News. Derek, thank you. Councilman Branch is also requesting the city state's attorney re-examine whether charges are warranted against the officer who fatally shot and killed Maurice Donald Johnson in 2012.